Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see that how to install or maybe how to restore Northwind SQL Server Sample Database. So this Northwind SQL Server Sample Database is very much helpful when we are uh, learning about database when we want to run some query. So this sample database is very much helpful and this is extensively used in different um, lectures or tubes. So for this, I have already installed the uh, MS SQL Server Management Studio. So how to install it, maybe I'll put the link in the description section from where you can install this SQL Server Management Studio. But in this video, as we are just uh, showing that how to um, make it ready so that we can use Northwind SQL Server Sample Database. So for this, we need to download that sample database. And we can download that sample database from this link, which we I have here. I'll put the link of this in the description section. And uh, this is the source from where we are going to download SQL Northwind database BAK file. So if you scroll down here, here you can see this is a download Northwind database BAK file. We just click there. And now you can see I already downloaded before this. But now you can see this is there. That's the file which we need. So when I click on this show in folder, so that is available in my downloads folder. And this is at the moment in compressed uh, format. So we just have to uncompress it. So 7G, I have the file here and I extract it here in this folder, Northwind. And when I open it, you can see this fi file is already there. That is Northwind.bak file. So I'm going to copy this file and maybe control X. And now I'm going to save this file in, in, my, in the location where I have this um, SQL server installed. So maybe I, I'm going to here in this and I'm going to paste that file here. So remember this is the location where I have northwind.bak file because we need it. And then we go back to our this uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and here we have to click on this database you can see on the left hand side we have database so I click uh, sorry right click there and then we have to click on restore database and then this window appears and in this window in the source field we have to select device and after that we have to click on this these three dots here and by clicking this we will have a new window and in this window, we have to specify the backup media and its location for your restore operation. So we have to here click add. And once we have selected this, we have to go to our drive or the location where we saved that northwind.bk file. So I saved this on my D drive. And if we just go here, so this is the D drive you can see loop. Otherwise, you can just specify where you have saved that file. So for me, that file is there and then I selected this, um, I, I chose this program files and then we have this file, this in SQL Server Management Studio 15 and now you can see this file is there, northwind.bak file, click there and we selected that file and then we click OK and then again we click OK, OK. And now you can see this says this is processing and it says that database Northwind restored successfully. Okay. Okay. And now you can see this Northwind database is already showing there. And maybe just you can simply click refresh, but still you can see Northwind database has been, uh, I mean, this has been like restored here. And then you click here on this plus sign. You can see this, the database diagram, tables, views, external resources, anonymous, programmatically, and, and service broker, storage, security. These all things are there. If we click on tables, let's say we have these all tables here. And I also would like to show that how to run this query. So let's say we are interested in uh, seeing all the entries of this, let's say products table. So maybe we can run a query like this. So we have to click on new query and here we can uh, say the select and select all for that we have to use this star. And then we have to say from which table, let's say we are selecting orders table. So we can say orders table. So this is the order table here. And then we just click on this execute button click there and now you can see 
this query has been executed and we have the result uh, as a result of this query we have this result here in this table and this table shows us all entries in the orders table right and this shows that uh, i don't know how many how many entries are there but you can scroll down here it seems like 830 i think so so in this way we can run some queries and in this way we can actually install or restore uh, north wind sql server sample database in our uh, ms or microsoft sql server management studio so that's it for this simple video and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video thanks